Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Libras. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today, Libras. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic day. Look at all these cards at Florida. We're going to leave those cards right there. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic day today. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set, Libras. Yes, this is a general reading. These cards are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. This is a general reading. Again, take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading... I've talked to a lot of Libras. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's do this thing. Libra, let's go. It is a waxing crescent moon. So happy waxing crescent moon. We're going to be talking about the number 33 also, right? And some things to kind of help you just move forward, you know, so that you don't turn around, give up, you know, get discouraged or anything like that. Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Libras as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Libras? Yes, my cooperative, diplomatic, gracious, social, understanding, idealist, idealist fair-minded, great listening, charming, romantic, justice and also gods libras what information do we have for my wonderful libras all right libras let's put this right here for just a second let's see what these cards have to say first and foremost we have the knight of pentacles can you see right there knight of pentacles right here let's see if i can make a little room over here for you all right we have the chariot card yes right here let's put this up here if I can get it in here, we have the moon card. Yes, right here, Pisces, Cancer, emotions. We have the six of swords. Mm -hmm. We have the four of pentacles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I can get this, okay. We have the king of cups. Yes, indeed. We have the queen of pentacles. Yes, yes, yes. We have the King of Pentacles right here. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Strength card, which is Leo's card. Let me see if I can make some more room right here. We have the Justice card, which is your card. Aha, aha, aha. If I can get this in here. Uh-huh. Put that right there. We have the Tower card. Uh-huh. We have the Empress card, Venus. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Let me see if I can move this over here a little bit. I'll pick these back up in just a second. And we have the Death card. Okay, this is going to be a real short reading. <laughs> really short reading. Somebody's going through a divorce. All right, somebody's going through a divorce and the relationship is over. The relationship is over. It was a tricky love situation for quite some time. You're tapping into your strength. That person that you're going through a divorce with is going to have a serious tower moment. You, on the other hand, um, as they continue to descend, you're going to uh, continue to ascend, right? So, yeah, right now is the best time for you to just focus on... What's nostalgic to you, Libra? That's that's the best thing you can do. Like I said, your reading is going to be real short because as soon as I lay these cards out, the whole story came to me. So it's again, it's going to resonate with somebody. But again, it's time for you to just focus on what's nostalgic to you. If you have kids, you're going to focus on your kids. If you don't have children, focus on something that just made you happy, like something in your youth that made you happy, right? Things that you still like to do today to balance out your energy, right? Of course, like I said, justice is in your favor, so that part you don't have to worry about. And I mean, moral justice as well as court justice is in your favor, Libra. So that part you don't have to worry about. Plus, you have the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor, right? And look at all this money that's about to be released to you as a result of you letting that situation go. We have the Midas touch right here. We have the King of Pentacles right here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So we know that you're a very down to earth person, right? And that's connected to your money, something that you do, you know, where you're probably caring for other people or working with people. And to some degree, I see you being more conservative with your money. I see you also traveling. I see you working very hard and making lots of money. So again, you have a lot of things that are better for you on the other side of all of this. Now, remember with this waxing crescent moon, it actually is a reminder that we must keep working towards whatever it is that we want, right? So whatever it is that you've been trying to do, 
you know, moving forward, don't get tripped up by all the other emotions that are attached to this particular situation right here. Don't do it. Continue focusing on what it is that you want. It doesn't matter what it is that you want. Continue focusing on that. If it is meaning that you're going to stand your ground through a divorce, continue standing your ground, going after exactly what it is that you want. Um, also, you got to be on. You got to be very patient as events continue to unfold. You want to dig a little more deeper to find some courage. But again, you're going forward and you're not looking back. You see? Yes. Let's talk about the number 33 for just a second, okay? When you think about the number 33, 33 is a master number. We talked about 11 the other day, which is also a master number. You see 11, 22, 33, 44, all the way up to 99, master numbers, right? So 33s are highly sensitive and could be a powerful empath. 33s are also designed to be a teacher of compassion. 33s are also concerned with the welfare of the masses, right? So when expressed at its highest vibrational alignment, Master number 33 symbolizes a person who embodies unconditional love. So 33 call, um, carries all the qualities of its root number six, yet it is even more sensitive, right? So if you're stepping into the vibration of the number 33 and something like this, you're going to be sensitive anyway, whether your sensitivity is anger or frustration or tears or happiness or joy, whatever it is. You're sensitive to what's happening right now. But I can tell you, Libra, on the other side of all of this, all of these things are going to be released to you. Primarily a lot of money is going to be released to you and your peace of mind. Like I said, you're sailing away. Um, you know, you're sailing away from all the chaos, confusion, and drama for your peace of mind. And you know that you're covered on all sides, which is great. Yes. Which is great. Yes. So... Um, also with the number 33, when you think about the number 33, think about the fact that not only are you deeply sensitive, you're sensitive to other people's emotions, right? So this is not where you're like, well, you know, insensitive to people's emotions. You're absolutely sensitive to their emotions. And on top of that, you, you actually love other people but you also recognize that sometimes other people are not good in your energy space. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love you, but I love me more. I may love you to pieces, but I love me more, right? I love me first, right? So this is, this is you pouring back into yourself. This situation is over. Like I said, it was a tricky situation here. You and that's being exposed or that has been exposed. It could have been exposed on the last full moon or if it hasn't fully been illuminated things are coming to light for you so this is what i'm saying i don't want you to give up i don't want you to go back i want you to continue moving forward right and just knowing that things are actually working out in your favor so yes like i said i knew this was going to be a really short reading as soon as i laid these cards i was like whoa okay somebody's going through a divorce somebody is going through and it could be a common law marriage it could be um uh, a legal, you know, ceremony. It could have been a church wedding or whatever, but nevertheless, a divorce, you know, the ending of a relationship, right? So this card flew out. So let's see what this card is, your intuition. Your intuition is spot on and it very seldom is off for a Libra. So you're very, you all are very powerful, very smart, very emotionally intelligent people. And so this is where, again, you're going to stay focused you're going to really, really stay focused and just bring it on home. Because again, on the other side of all of this, life gets so much better. Peace of mind, more money. You know, if, if you need to, like I said, continue meditating through all of this, getting to that crown, activating your crown chakra so you can see things at a God level of clarity. You see what I'm saying, Libra? Yes. But your intuition has been spot on the entire time about the situation being tricky, exactly what you've been thinking about that situation, spot on. No and, ifs, or buts, Libras, okay? That is what I have for you. Have a fantastic day. Again, happy waxing crescent moon. You are halfway there. We're moving towards the first quarter moon. I think it's on the 20th of this month. So just continue moving forward. Continue moving forward. Don't look back. Don't get distracted or anything. Just continue to be patient with this entire process as things, as events unfold. That's what I have for you, Libras. Have a great one. Bye.